Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi Techie people, welcome back to our series on online ethics with me, Miss Mariska. This is our third video, and in this video we will explore the importance of privacy and data protection in the online world. Let's dive into it. In today's digital age, the rise of data collection is more purposive than ever. Websites, apps, and various online services are constantly gathering data about us, often without our full knowledge or explicit consent. This information is used to build detailed user profiles, which then fuel targeted advertising, making our online experience highly personalized. However, with this extensive data collection comes significant security risks. The more data that's collected, the higher the potential for data breaches and even identity theft. It's crucial for us to be aware of how our data is being used and the potential risks involved. Let's dive into data protection laws, which are becoming increasingly important in our digital world. First off, we have the GDPR from the European Union. This regulation is a game changer, giving individuals much more control over their personal data and setting a high standard for privacy. Meanwhile, in the US, California has introduced the CCPA, which offers similar protection for its residents, allowing them to know, delete, and opt out of the sale of their personal data. But it's not just the EU and California, there's a global trend here. Many countries are rolling out their own data privacy laws, which shows just how crucial digital rights are becoming worthwhile. Here in Indonesia, we have the Information and Electronic Transaction Law, known as UU ITE. This law addresses various aspects of electronic information, including data protection and privacy, ensuring that personal data is managed responsibly. Now let's talk about how to protect your digital footprint, because in today's world, it's more important than ever. First, let's start with passwords. It's tempting to use the same one, everyone. But trust me, using unique and complex passwords for all your account is key. And don't forget to enable two-factor authentication whenever you can. It adds an extra layer of security. Next, be careful about what you share online, especially on social media. It's easy to overshare, but remember, once it's out there, it's hard to take back. Also, take some time to review your privacy settings. Make sure you're comfortable with what's being shared and to whom you share the information. Lastly, think about using encryption tools they're great for protecting sensitive information, whether it is your emails, messages, or file transfers. Taking these steps can go a long way in keeping your digital life secure. Now let's explore how to navigate online anonymity, a crucial topic in our increasingly digital world. First, Consider using private or incognito browsing modes. While this won't make you completely anonymous, they do prevent your online activity from being stored on your device, offering a basic layer of privacy. For a more robust solution, a virtual private network or VPN is highly effective. By encrypting your internet traffic and masking your IP address, a VPN makes a make it significantly more challenging for third parties to track your online movements. And for those seeking even greater anonymity, the Tor browser is a valuable tool. Tor routes your internet traffic through a network of a volunteer-operated relays, adding multiple layers of protection to your identity and location. Incorporating these tools into your digital routine can help you maintain a higher level of privacy and security in an increasingly monitored online environment. What about the measure to, sub 
to safeguarding our mobile data. Something we all need to pay attention to. First up, app permissions. It's easy to just click allow without thinking, but it's a good idea to review and manage the permissions you've granted to your apps. This way, you can limit their access, the, their access to your data. Next, consider disabling location services when you're not using them. It's a simple step that can prevent apps from tracking your movements and collecting more data than necessary. Lastly, securing your device is crucial. Using biometric authentication like your fingerprints or face recognition adds an extra layer of security to your phone. It's quick, easy, and helps you keep your personal information safe. By taking these steps, you can better protect your mobile data and keep your information secure. Finally, how to stay vigilant in the digital age. Staying vigilant is, in the digital age is more important than ever too. First, regularly review privacy policies. I know they're not exactly fun to read, but staying informed about how your data is being collected and use is key to protecting your privacy. If you ever find yourself a victim of a data breach, it's important to report it right away. Notifying the right authorities can any, and anyone else affected can help prevent further damage and start the process of securing your information. Lastly, consider supporting privacy-focused initiatives, whether it's advocating for stronger data protection laws or simply being mindful of the tools you use, we can all play a part in safeguarding our digital rights. By staying aware and taking action, we can better protect ourselves in this ever-connected world. All right, techie people, that's wrap up our exploration of privacy and data protection in online work. We've covered a lot from the rise of data collection and the risk it brings to the importance of understanding and supporting data protection laws like GDPR, CCPA, and our very own UUITE here in Indonesia. We also talk about practical steps you can take to safeguard your digital footprint, everything from using strong, unique password to enabling two-factor authentication, managing app permissions, and using tools like VPNs and Tor to navigate online anonymity. Don't forget the importance of securing your mobile data and staying vigilant by regularly reviewing privacy policies, reporting data breaches, and supporting privacy-focused initiatives. By staying, informed and pro by staying informed and proactive, you can better protect your personal information in this increasingly digital world. Thank you for joining me in this video. Stay tuned for more in our series on online ethics. And in the next video, we'll learn ethical interactions in, in, in online environments. See you in the next video, techie people. Bye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.